your multicam sequence in Premiere Pro is running incredibly slow and you're getting the little balloon ball of death and you're driving yourself crazy. What the fuck? I've got the answer. I figured it out. It's time for me to share it with you in this quick video. And hey, what's going on? It's your boy Robert Chigar. I'm back in with another tutorial. Today we are talking about why your multicam sequences in Premiere Pro are running so slow. You can't figure out exactly what's going on. I figured it out. I'm going to tell you what's up. Let's take a look in Premiere and I'll show you exactly what I'm seeing. So here we are in this Premiere Pro sequence. This thing on top is just my markers that I was carrying over. So pay no attention to the man behind the curtain there. However, if I sit here and start to play you'll see that I immediately get the little balloon beach ball of death. I'm sure if you're working on a PC, you'll get the little hourglass that's going on here. And I don't really understand exactly what's happening. I can't really move forward from this particular point. And I think, oh, I need proxies. Proxies is what I need. It's 10-bit 422 4K files that are multi-streaming. Let's see exactly what's going on here. So from here, I go and I try and turn on my proxies. So you can see here, this little blue thing, proxies have been enabled. I hit play. Nope, sure not going on. I'm still seeing the entire beach ball of death. And then it hit me like a ton of bricks. It's the audio. It's the audio that the multicam sequence is referencing. So what's going on here is that in the setup for my multicam sequence, I have five different audio regions that that multicam sequence is referencing every time I hit start and stop. This is my FX3 right here that has two sources, an onboard mic and a lav mic. And this is the FX6 that has an overhead mic and the onboard mic as well. So we're seeing five different regions that has effects on them that I'm referencing in this multicam camp sequence and that's jamming things up ladies and germs so all i have to do is go back here hit shift option and drag my mouse across to these regions so that I'm only selecting the audio. Right click on any of the highlighted regions, go to enable and click that so it would de-enable. You can see it goes dark green here and watch how fast Oh, there it is. Start. I'm going to go over here and it references. I'm going to go over here. It references. Look at that lovely lady smiling and I can start and stop and start and stop because my crazy super spec'd out M1 Ultra Max, whatever the thing it's my studio should be able to handle two 4K stream multicam. And there you have another Tea Garden quick tip tutorial in the can. If you liked the video, like the damn video. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button and ring the bell for posting notifications. Hopefully you like this short one because it's definitely helped me pulling all my uh, non-existent hair out is what I'm doing over here. Okay, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.